Hey guys, we have Josh McCougar and Stacy Howard today. I have at one point on Josh McCougar, but that's only what I commented on my bet for the Fan Reaction League was if Josh McCougar actually shows up to play, he'll get I, he'll win. I bet three points on. Him. But if he doesn't, three points on Stacy. Stacy will crush him. So I just did one point on McCougar, hoping for the best. But we'll see. Um, I, I don't know. This could go either way, just because Makuga has his days and he has his not days. As usual, I hate Stacy Howard and the entire Viper squad. I think that they have no idea what they're talking about and they don't have the right, like, I don't have enough respect for them for them to trash talk everyone, especially Josh Makuga, who I have a lot of respect for. But, we'll see. Currently in South Carolina for my cousin's graduation party because she graduated valedictorian of her class. It's Looks like we uh, covered everything we need to. So, uh, Kit and Zach, are you uh, are you ready? Oh, Miss Five, I am. All right, then shall we? Yes. All right, let's get ready to smoke down. Here we go. Three rounds to a finish. Introducing first, representing the Wildberries, he is the number 10 ranked contender with a record of eight wins and eight defeats, the 2014 Ultimate Schmodown finalist, here is the Wildberries, Josh Moore. The band's starting out the curtain. Money today? We're looking at you too. It's hard not to with those pants. Oh, yes. Those pants <laughs> are money. Literally, those pants are money. Let's go. All right. Here we go. All right. But none of that equal t t shirt sales. Ken, I would like to bring up something real quick before we bring up my competitor. Yeah. You said, I've guessed my way to t t some titles. Yeah. Joke's on you. I haven't won a title. Boom! <laughs> Woo! No belts over here! All right. I, I do stand corrected. No you belts, are. but some very uh, fetching t shirts. Josh Bakuga, not. Can pick him up a T Public. Not a winner. All right. And his opponent. Representing the Viper Squad with a record of three wins and one defeat and two KOs. Accompanied to the match by the Urban Gladiator, Jay Washington. This is Sassy Stacy I like the player in three of the game. She knows she's got one on the back of the head. This is, uh, there are two movies that could get me. I've seen that. I've seen this movie. I, I have seen this movie uh, many, many times. It's a fun fact, actually, based on the Jane Austen novel Emma that I am named after. So uh, really, yeah. really, and, and it has a charity based on uh, my hometown, Pismo oh, Beach. Well, there you hey. go. That's true, Pismo Beach. All right. is really Welcome to Clueless Talk. Can I just say it does not say RSVP on the Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Okay. Also, there From is the a, movie, there is guys. a weak point in the armor of Josh McCuga, and that weak point is clueless. <laughs> hey, all right. Well, well. All hey. right. Well, uh, uh, now that, that was... all of that shit and another is thing, Emma, fight. No, I'm is kidding. It's over. Funny little comedy make em ups over we there on that table. We are going to move on with the actual competition with round one. So this is the way that round one works. So in round one, both competitors will be part. asked a series so of I, eight questions. You have to write you know. down your answers on the whiteboards when you are asked to reveal your answers. You must. Reveal them as well as saying them out loud. 
Don't forget about the JTE rule. You are able to get three repeats throughout the course of the match. You are also granted one challenge whenever you should choose to use it. And Josh, I'll need the assurance from you that you're not going to start a fist fight with nope. the judges today. Nope. No fist fights. All right, we're nope. good to go. All right, well, I, can't then. I would, that uh, I would like to apologize for my behavior in previous matches. Today, I will act like a classy gentleman, a.k.a. Josh in <laughs> Clueless. Well, that come good. on, guys. Uh, that was right. a great yes. callback. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me, beard guy. I'm looking at you. Makuga, not, not off to a great start. All right. Uh, Stacey, you got the rules? Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. You're ready. Josh, are you ready? <laughs> Boom, ready, Ken. Boom. All righty. Then let's get ready to schmow down. Yeah, Woo! here we go. I'm already ready, though. All right. First what? question Shmoda. in round one in the realm of action adventure. How many times has Harrison Ford played Jack Ryan? Mm. Harrison Ford played many, uh, it's many. surprising how many iconic roles really many. he's had in his yep. lifetime. Yep, and he's a five, four, three, two, one. A grumpy icon All right. of mine. Stacey. Uh, three? And that is incorrect. Two. two times. That is correct for oh, one point. Oh, oh, oh. Josh it's McCuga. up to a hot start. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Josh is up one. All right. Sorry. I already don't know what's happening. I, uh, you I know, know whenever know. whenever Josh McCook is in the building, I feel the same way. All right. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Question number two. Category is Oscars. Ugh. The song You'll Be In My Heart won Best Original Song for which animated film? Bill Collins. Phil and Ethan Collins. I hope I get That's, this right. Uh, that I know is the singer may not know the, the movie. The, uh, this song is by, yeah, it's not five, a question, but four, four, three, two, one. Look for answer starting with Josh. Is it Tarzan? It That's is correct. Tarzan. Oh, no. Another great wild man, Tarzan. There we go. Oh, see, there you go, Tarzan. The, the Josh McCuga documentary. All right, next question in the category of dramas. In The Greatest Showman, who plays the Swedish nightingale Jenny Lind? Oh. Mm. A lot of reaction from the audience on that uh, one. This was this yeah, was a very divisive movie, uh, Greatest Showman. Yeah, Greatest Showman, 100% uh, accurate documentary. Uh, that is not 100% oh, correct. I probably but, didn't see uh, that. Five, four. Can you repeat the question? Three. Oh, yes. we have a JT rule coming in, in for Josh. In the McCoy. Greatest Showman, who plays the Swedish Nightingale, Jenny Lind? All right. Uh, this is yeah, they kind of skipped over some of the not so great stuff about you know, Ricky Barnum. Five, four, I feel like it's her three, four, two. One right. look of answers starting with Stacy. Rebecca Ferguson. Correct for one point. Not Josh McCuga. Uh, Selena Gomez. <laughs> um, no, but what she is Why do I think it is here real yeah. quick? What? Nobody likes musicals. Uh, no uh, that's not Shut up. That's not correct. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Go and on, I beg to sure. please continue with the match. Right. Whoa, staying on track there, Fife. Well done. She's great at what she does. <laughs> Question number four comes in the category of directors. Directors. Who directed Almost Famous? Mm -hmm. uh, movie pretty much represents uh, accurately my high school years. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah how I was. Almost yeah. Famous. Kind of like broke his hat. Four, three, two. We're Callan as one haircut. looking for answers starting with Josh. Cameron Crowe. That is correct. correct. For us. Stacey Howard. Cameron Crowe. We've got a tie game here. All right. You know, we're the competitor there, Sherwoods. I mean, Thank that's you. L Woods and L. Yep, yep, you just combined two Swing characters. It's uh, Cher Horowitz. But, uh, <laughs> but nice try. Uh, Thanks, next, Emma. next category fantasy sci fi. Who plays Captain Lone Star in Spaceballs? Oh, uh, the, the crowd it's, seems to yeah, like that I mean, question. listen, it's yeah. one of my favorite movies, yeah. so yeah, I, I appreciate this. Only one question. man dare give me uh, raspberry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Looking for answers in five, four, three, two, one. Stacy Howard. Bill Pullman. I don't know. Oh, that's right. uh, not correct. Uh, Josh McCuga. Bill Pullman. That is correct totally. for one point. Totally. Josh McCuga. Question six, question six comes in the category of comedies, comedies. In 50 First Dates, what does Adam Sandler's character want to study in Alaska? Not too many things I think mm. you could study in Alaska. No, I mean, not too but many. But I mean, uh, technically anything, so five, be indoors all the time, four, it's so freaking cold. Three, 
two, one. Looking for answers. Starting with Mr. Makuga. Uh, marine biology. Uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Along the right lines, but no. Walrus? That is That's correct. correct. Oh, <laughs> Stacey Howard. Remember the walrus threw up. Caught you guys. Dang uh, it. All right, next category, horror thriller, nice yeah. horror thriller. Uh, Rosamund Pike and Ben Affleck star in this 2014 David Fincher psychological thriller. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Horror yeah, horror thriller. This is the emphasis on the thriller yeah. part. Thriller, thriller not know. the Michael Jackson song. Thriller. Five, not, not. four, I don't know. three, I know two, both of one, Stacy. Gone Girl. That is That's correct for one point. Josh McGugan. I'd like to say real quick, there was a lot of movies with Gone okay. in it. Gone okay. Girl? That's right. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. That's but like right. Gone Baby Gone, Girl on the Train, they all seem pretty similar. Yes. Uh, Never mind. You guys are a terrible don't. audience right now. <laughs> Shut up, Kalinowski. I love right. you. You're a great dude. Final question in round one. It's been a journey so far. The category is animated. Animated. In A Bug's Life, what is the actual occupation of the fake warriors that flick hires mm. sounds like a not warriors. i didn't Sense i didn't write it fake yeah warriors scalisco yeah. and saint louis yes, did. Fi five four three <laughs> two and one you know the looking for answers starting with josh <laughs> uh being ants i mean <laughs> no. i would have accepted it but it's, it's not, not right correct so not not ants. Ants. how correct. can you be circus Circus correct. performers is Can that up a all question right? Real quick? Uh, no, but I ant. imagine you would. Yeah, yeah. What is Bugs Life? It's the it's a one of the greatest ants. Pixar films. Yes. It is a beautiful tale of an ant colony Stacey. developing themselves and yes. escaping from the and tyranny no, oh, of oh, grasshoppers. Yeah. Being ants. No, being, can yeah, I, it's not. No, it's no, not no, that. That's uh, not no, ants, it's, it, and you know what? It doesn't matter. It, answers are not. It's time to move on to round two. Here Walking in the showdown, the way that round two works, the dreaded wheel category. round. Each competitor will go and spin the wheel, whatever category it lands on. If they do not like the first option, they will spin. Again, you're awarded one mulligan. There is stealing in round two, so if your opponent does not know the answer, then you will be able to steal the answer from them. Every question in this round is worth two points, and if you do not know the answer, you are allowed to go multiple choice, at which point the value of the question is reduced to a single point all right and on the wheel today we have two slices that are from our schmodown patrons we've got festival darlings and animation both of which again really? are really, really, patron. really yes i like patron so those are what uh, the patrons have yeah, paid for on the wheel today. Thank you so much again to everybody who is a patron, patron of the Movie Trivia Schmodown. I can talk. Just go to uh, patreon.com slash schmodown if you would also like to join in the fun over there. Absolutely. Money. Absolutely. Great job. Great go job. Bruce Willis or something. Uh, Festival um, darlings. I'm Bruce Willis. Maybe they're not all bros. Uh, Stacey Howard. We've got a film. Everybody's a Bruce. Currently in the lead. Th Stacey Howard, you are in the lead. So would you like to go first or second? Oh, um, uh... She's looking to her manager for support. She's staring into the Don't eyes. Don't listen of to Jay Washington. He's like We're gonna that need... bad crowd I think member in Price Everybody right. has We're... to listen to Jay Washington, even if they don't We're feel like it because he's so loud. Go. I'm going. All right, she's deferring to Josh McCuga. He'll get two spins here. Right, here he big spin coming in. The spin is in. Yep, the spin, spin is in. It's a lot of finesse. Hey, Josh we got a Wildberry t-shirt available on Tee Public. Showing it off. Yeah. Selling the merchandise. Yeah, absolutely. There. Uh, that is a lot of Do it, do it, do it. Stop, stop. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, she's going to no. go in Oh, no. I uh, cannot. You cannot. cannot. No. Not if you spin opponent's um, okay. choice. Okay, we are gonna subject Makuga mm -hmm. um, to dance movies. All dance right, dance movies. Dance, dance movies. Dance movies. That's one of her strengths. Probably. He knows how to He's do it, good. but can, can he? he? A lot of Answer questions about it. Flash dance took place in Pittsburgh. Uh, what was her you do not get to write your own <laughs> questions. Well, all right. Here we go. Dance, dance movies questions. All right. Josh McCuga, your first question in dance movies. After the death of his brother, an expert street dancer goes to Georgia to attend Truth University in what film? I don't know. Oh. Something weird. 
Makuga oh, a very four. pensive face let's, there. Let's go multiple choice on that. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is acceptable. Is it A, center stage, B, stomp the yard, stomp C, the yard. take the lead, or D, step up to colon the streets? <laughs> the colon is important, you guys. Five. Four. I'm going to say take the lead. That, that is incorrect. No, I'm sorry. For, uh, Stacy for the steal. Stomp the yard. That is correct for one, one point. Point steal, Emma. Wow. All right. Uh, you would figure that nobody was stomping yards in college, but whoop. All right. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Josh Makuga. We just stomped kegs. All right. Yeah. Second question, Makuga. Your next question. What is the name of the nightclub Tony Monero and his friends go to every Saturday night in Saturday Night Fever? So I feel like the, uh, the practice of going to comedy of dance here, nightclubs is going to be just a out no of five. Look, let's go uh, four. <laughs> let's go three. Let's go. Uh, two, let's go multiple choice right. on this right. Right. Is yeah. it A. Staying alive. B. Manhattan skyline. C. Fever dream. Or D. Two thousand one Odyssey. I mean, you would think it's staying alive. That's like the SAT obvious. I'm just saying Five. staying alive. That is incorrect. incorrect. Probably See, not. Um, fever dream? Incorrect. We're looking for 2001 Dang. Odyssey. Oh, my mom's going to That pissed. is a terrible name for a dance club. <laughs> fever dream is what Makuga is experiencing right now. <laughs> Correct. Dang. Thanks for the Chardonnay. All right, Makuga, next question in the category of dance. You'll find characters by the names of Mac Carter, Nora Clark, and Tyler Gage in what yeah. 2000s dance film? Tyler and Nora. <laughs> yeah, uh, uneasy chuckling is not yeah. the answer. Yeah, it's not the answer. Super villain-like chuckle there Tatum from Koga. Five, four, they got three, married. Now they're two, divorced. You got one. served. Uh, incorrect, incorrect. Stacy, for the steal. Oh, dang. Well, it's okay. not Odang. Five. Really? This five, is one of the best dances. Four. Three. Center stage. Two in. Incorrect. Co we were looking for step up. I oh, was going to say step up. Ah! Yeah. God damn. Ah! Gonna, gonna say does not equal what you actually said, and what you said was not Should've correct. Known. So. There's like right. three dance movies in the 2000s. There's a step up franchise. All right. Makuga, your final question in the category of dance movies. This film released in 2000 is about the life and times of a group of teenage ballet dancers at the fictitious American Ballet Academy and starred Zoe Saldana, Susan May Pratt, and Peter Gallagher. Peter Gallagher's eyebrows are... Uh, uh, they really what? are Just quite I... impressive. Yeah, they're very nice. Yes. Josh McCuga, we need five. an answer. Five, five, four, four, that stage. is correct. That's what I was <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> there's, that, there's that legendary uh, Makuga magic coming through wow. in that last moment, tying things up here with Stacey you Howard. You only knew that because I said it. It's who so true. Uh, now has a chance to potentially take a big lead here in round two. So, uh, this Stacey. This is going to be a disaster. Spin the wheel. <laughs> It's that like, is, uh, I'm just going to land on Clueless. God damn it. <laughs> All right, Stacey Howard, your turn to spin. She looks nervous. I'm not going to lie. All right. Come on, spin opponent's it, choice. Spin good spin. It. Yep, very good. A lot of revolutions on that spin there. What Come is on, it going to land on? Um, Let's um, feel it, oh, Kurt Russell. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Stop. Directors. Directors. It, spin you again. can stay or spin again. You still have your respin if you should choose to use it. Oh, All right. Go again. Spin again. Spin again. Spin again. Spin again. Don't spin it in the spin there. Let's see. Is Makuga exacting revenge? I if can see Makuga just on keeps the repeating wheel. opponent's choice, it's not necessarily going to make it land there. The wheel goes round and round, round and the choices get angrier there. and angrier. I don't have a chance of opponent's choice. It is not close. Got to go. All right. Yes, directors is what it was meant to be. Yes. Directors. All right, all right. Four questions in this category. <sighs> and Stacy is settled. All right, four questions for you, Stacy. Besides Steven Spielberg, who has directed Tom Hanks in five different features? Tom Hanks. Can we sit Jay Washington somewhere else? <laughs> Four. Um, a, a multiple choice? 
A. Robert Zemeckis. B. John Lasseter. C. Ron Howard. D. Nora Ephron. Um. Five. Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis. Incorrect for Steel Josh. I'm gonna go John Lasseter. Incorrect. The answer was Ronnie Ron Howard. Howard. Little oh, Ronnie Howard. Dang it! Little Damn Ronnie. it! That's, I didn't even hear that one. That's the okay. right. That's Fellow the right. Fellow Ginger. Right. All right. Second question. Who directed the 2013 remake of no idea. Old Boy? Oh, Oliver Stone. Multiple choice. A. Tony Gilroy. B. James McTeague. McTeague. C. Spike Lee. D. Adam Weingard. Wingard. I'm. Wingard. Wingard. Yes, Wingard. It's, uh, it's not Wingard. Guess it's Spike Lee. If she guesses Spike um, Lee and it goes wrong, go in A. Twenty kills. Five, four. Repeat the uh, answer options, please. A. Tony Gilroy. B. 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 <laughs> McTeague. <laughs> C. Spike Lee. D. Adam Wingard. Five, four. Spike Lee. Three. That's correct yes. for a point. One point. One point. Wait, that's there. real? Yes, one that's real. Point there. The one with Josh Brolin. That's shit. All Wait, right. Spike Didn't know Lee Spike Lee does did other that. movies? All right. <laughs> Who wrote and directed the 1989 film Say Anything? Mm. Say know. anything, Stacy. We do need an answer. Five. Oh, uh, nice burn. Four, five. Three. Multiple two. choice. <laughs> All right. A. That's anything. Michelle Gondry. B. Gary Marshall. C. Mike Newell. D. Cameron Crowe. Mike Newell. Incorrect for steel. <sighs> Son of a. I'm gonna say Cameron Crowe. <laughs> That's correct for that a point. Right. For one point. His name is know. prominent. I didn't know you voted direct. Who stole I one? All right. Final right. question. Final question. Final question. In the category director, Stacy, who directed 2011's oh. The Girl with the Dragon David. Tattoo? Oh, David Fincher. That's correct for two All points right. there. All right. Both Makuga and Howard pulling out a, a, a big two-point answer at the end of categories that they I mean, filming, but... struggled with a little bit. But you know what? That's the way the wheel around goes. And some steals across the board, making this a close game as we head into round three. You know what, we I, are. Sometimes I, I don't like your tongue. All right. All right. Here we go. Another Moving glass of wine. <laughs> for Uncle Josh. Yes. Here we so, go. moving yeah, into round Josh, three, well. this is the way round three works. Each competitor will choose a series of three numbers between one and 20. Each number will correspond to a question, the first question of worth, of which is worth two points, the second three, and the final question worth five points. Stacy Howard, you are in the lead, so you get to choose your numbers first. Six, 12, 16. All right, six, 12, and 16. And Josh McCuga? Nine, 20, and three. Ooh, nine, nine 20, 20, and three. Right. There we go. All right, all right. <laughs> Josh McCuga, you chose number nine. Number nine corresponds to the category of comic book movies. That's uh, thick. <laughs> In the 1966 Adam West Batman film, there were Jesus. four key villains. Name two of the four actors that played them. <laughs> Uh, Cesar Romero, Burgess Meredith. That is correct for two points. It's the only ones I know. Back over to Stacy then. Stacy Howard. Absolutely, Stacy. It's tied up at 10. Your two point question comes in the category of, well, you chose number six. That was 90s movies. Ooh, 90s was in the 90s. Movies. Was. Here we go. Two points, two Good points. Eye. What 1999 comedy starred Pretty Richard good. Gere, Julia Roberts, Joan Cusack, and Hector no. Elizondo? Shall we dance? Um. Runaway Bride. That's correct, correct for two, two points. points. All right. Bouncing back over to Josh McCuga. Can Josh McCuga, you picked number 20. That is the category of Tom Cruise. Oh, Tom okay. Cruise. All right. Oh, Name the movie in which Cruise stars as Captain Nathan Algren. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Minority Five, Report? 
four, three. Can you repeat the question, please. Of course. There you go. There Second you go. JT rule. Name the movie that Cruz stars like that. in as Captain Texas. Nathan Algren. Just covering his eyes. Five, trying to find the answer five, deeper five, than his brain. Three, two, I don't know, one. Mission Impossible 2. Incorrect. We're looking for The Last Samurai. Oh, last last no. Samurai. All right. Yep. So now it comes down to this. Josh Makuga must answer his five point question in order to remain in the game. If he does not, then Stacy is the winner today. If Makuga answers, it bounces back to Stacy, and she will still have a chance to be the winner of today's movie trivia mode. I have one more JTE, correct? Correct. One more JTE rule. All right. Do you get that? Yep. You got it. Okay. So, Josh Makuga. Thanks, Robert. In the category of directors. Oh, God. Who directed the Liam Neeson film The Gray? I should know this. He claims the to. question is do you? Five. Four. Oh, no, Shane three. Black. And your winner, Sassy Stacy Howard. The answer was Joe Carnahan. <laughs> Joe Carnahan, Emma. My. So, my computer died, but luckily the match had just gotten over, and I plugged it back in, and everything saved, and everything's. Um, if I were Stacy, I'd have 11, so I would have beaten Puga. If I were Josh, I would have had 12, so I would have tied Stacy. I'd have to say this is my best match. Best match yet. I haven't lost anything. So, um, yeah, check out the link in the description for the pre and post interviews. Check out all of Collider. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. And have a great day.